how do you do a classroom, a studio? So there are many sketches of Corbusier's about the studio and what not. You don't know, you want to get north light, south breeze. So climate is there already. You have a structure. But when you make an angle, how do you make an angle? And I was thinking of Kahn. So I was then influenced by Kahn on the structural clarity. But articulation is Corbusier's. It's a marriage between them. That staircase is Corbusier, the gargoyle is Corbusier, the concrete and brick is Corbusier, but attitude is Kant's. Good artists copy and great artists too. You must have heard this quote and this is where Doshi's geniuses lies. As you saw the clip in the beginning where Doshi is explaining design of Sept and how he merged two thinking of his gurus into one and made it his own. And only after he told that we could identify the parts where it is stolen from. Louis Gahn has famously said that structure is a giver of life. And when you see that picture of model, you can clearly understand how Structure is allowing opportunity to bring north light in the building. One need to understand and have to acknowledge the fact that behind every artist's great work, there is an undetected pleasure region. And nothing is original. Only the acceptance of this can allow one to create exceptional work for themselves or for the society. Doshi is a such a gem. Cause he knows he is an artist, not a magician. So he doesn't have to keep secrets. In his autobiography, Doshi has mentioned in detail about his experience at Corbusier's office or his talks with Corbusier or Louis Aikard and whatnot. Doshi has learned much about architecture through process of copying or say retracing the sections which Corbusier made. When one is copying, it is basically reverse engineering and one is trying to understand other person's mind and in our case Doshi was understanding Lee Cobb's mind and this is how he learned about volumes and proportion through this process of imitation cause back at that Paris Doshi did a new language of Corbusier and the only language known to him was language of drawing. Behind Doshi's great work he had two parameters very clear in his mind. First is whom to copy, second is what to copy. And when these two parameters are performed accurately, it ignites the great work. And there is saying in my mother tongue that nakal maapan akal hovi joye, which means there should be some intelligence lying in what you are copying. And don't just copy mindlessly. If you like someone's work, don't copy just their styles, copy their thinking too. And the problem with humans are that or say it's also a boon that we can't replicate others work with 100% accuracy. That's exactly where your mind needs to give input. Still the ideas, make them yours by adapting it genuinely in your design or life or wherever you need. Your mind holds that great power of connecting the dots and remixing the ideas. Use it effectively. In Doshi's work, adaptation of ideas are done in spiritual manner with Indianness in it. And when you visit the work he had done, you can clearly feel the vibe which his gurus were talking about. And it's just a mesmerizing experience of this kind of genius works. So any idea which will be called yours will depend on how you are going to adapt it and how you are going to transfer your essence into that idea and that will make it exceptional work or say original as people like to say basically it is undetected theft <laughs> so this was it for the video guys and i hope that i could convey the idea clearly and let's do the work we love and let's do a lot of it <laughs> and before you go, don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, it's bad for Meet you in the another one. Till then. Okay.